Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gospel today begins by saying, when the hour came, what was the hour of Jesus? The most important thing that Jesus came to do. The one time said by the Father for the salvation of the humankind. The hour when he would offer himself on the cross in order that we may not be condemned in our sinfulness. That hour of Calvary was the real, the most important hour of Jesus. But Jesus anticipated that hour for the Last Supper in the upper room. There, Jesus declared publicly that he would offer himself for us for a reason that we may be fed by him. He would offer himself to be broken. He would offer his blood to be shed that he may become food and drink for us. That we could eat of them, that we could drink of them. And thus, we may have life, life in the full. And that Jesus foretold already in John chapter 6. John chapter 6, Jesus multiplied bread. With five loaves of bread, he fed a large community of people, a big crowd. And the next day, the crowds came back. And Jesus saw them coming to him. And Jesus said to them, you are coming to me because you had the fill with the earthly bread. Do not look for me to feed you with earthly bread. Because all the bread that you eat on this earth will take you only up to the tomb. And there you will decay. Everything would be over. But I am come that you may have life. Life in the full. That you may never die. For this, I am come to give you the heavenly bread. That heavenly bread is my body. You must eat of my body. You must drink of my blood. And thus, you must become one with me. And I must become one with you. That you may never die. That you may never perish. My body is food indeed. My blood is drink indeed. Thus, Jesus made that promise in Capernaum. But many of the followers of Jesus, they could not understand him. They walked away from Jesus, saying, This is a hard saying. We can't understand this. What does this man mean? That we must eat of his body and drink of his blood? Oh no, he does not understand what he says. They walked away from Jesus. Even some of the close followers of Jesus, even they said, this is a hard saying. They walked away from Jesus. Jesus saw them going. But Jesus did not call them back. Neither did he take the promise back. Rather, he turned to Simon Peter and the other eleven apostles all standing together. Jesus asked them, Simon, are you also going away? If you don't understand my love, my love 
that wants you to live forever my love that wants to give you my body to eat and my blood to drink if you don't understand my love you also may go simon peter said master going away where to you have the words of eternal life they remained with jesus and these 12 apostles had the great blessedness to eat and drink of the body and blood of jesus when jesus in the last supper took the bread said the blessing broke it and gave it to them and said take it and eat it this is my body then jesus gave them the cup of wine and said take it and drink it this is my blood they ate and drank of the body and blood of jesus in the form of bread and wine hallelujah shall all of us raise our hands and say hallelujah 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 my dear sisters and brothers let us know one thing down the years a lot of individuals and many churches have walked away from the holy eucharist saying this is a hard teaching we can't understand what this man saying they could not understand the love of jesus that wants us to live forever they have walked away from jesus but mother church with simon peter and all the apostles the mother church has always held on to her faith in the holy eucharist that the bread on the altar is the body of jesus the wine in the chalice on the altar is the blood of jesus after having given his body to eat and his blood to drink jesus said something very significant jesus said do this in memory of me shall we all repeat that little verse do this do this in memory of me hallelujah hallelujah that's what we are here for every time we come for the holy eucharist we are coming to remember do this in memory of me jesus said and what do we remember we remember how our god offered himself for our salvation how he offered himself to be flogged at the pillar how he offered himself to be condemned by pilate how he offered himself to be crucified on calvary how he offered himself to die in order that we may live forever this is what we remember often when we say um, jesus offered himself for us in the plural in the plural um, well it is lost much of its meaning because when we say in the plural uh, we imagine plural is impersonal right plural is impersonal as if i am not involved i'm not part of it and that's why st paul puts it in personal singular galatians chapter 2 galatians chapter 2 verse 20 st paul said my jesus offered himself for me and crucified with him my jesus offered himself for me you and i every one of us should be able to say it should be able to feel it it is for me that jesus offered himself on the cross there's a beautiful hymn above all i'm sure many of you have heard this hymn above all we sing it often here 
the hymn proceeds narrating different moments in the passion and suffering and death of Jesus how Jesus was betrayed by Judas how he was flogged at the pillar how he was condemned by Pilate how he was crucified on Calvary and buried in the tomb and then the hymn climaxes in a beautiful little verse above all he thought of me above all he thought of me my dear sisters and brothers you and i should be able to feel it when jesus was flogged at the pillar and his body was bruised burning with pain it was my name that was on the lips of jesus he loved to me so much he offered that agony for my salvation remember jesus said no one snatches my life away from me i willingly offer it for my sheep i willingly offer it for my sheep john chapter 10 verse 18 john chapter 10 verse 18 his sheep what is his relationship with his sheep jesus said i know my own sheep i call them by name you and i my dear sisters and brothers we are the sheep of jesus whom jesus calls by name and jesus knows you and me personally jesus knows you and me by name and jesus has offered himself for my salvation for your salvation at that moment when the paschal mystery was being enacted my face was there my face was there in the heart of jesus and your face my brother your face my sister all of us were there in the heart of jesus hallelujah 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 so precious are we how precious am i what is my value what's your value my value is all the blood of jesus all the blood that jesus shed on the cross that's my value jesus opted to do that he decided to do that because he loved me so much i'm so precious i'm so valuable in the eyes of my jesus now this is what we remember at this altar a sacred memory sacred memory how precious i am in the eyes in the heart of my jesus when we celebrate this memory at this altar there are other memories that hurt us other memories day to day memories memories of being insulted memories of being humiliated memories of having committed sins and feeling ashamed and guilty of it memories of being sidelined memories of of others taking us for granted memories of being deceived memories of being rejected and such memories on a day to day basis in our family life in our relationships with our friends in our business everywhere such memories that make us feel so cheap i'm so bad i'm good for nothing and that's what people make us feel when i am rejected when i am insulted when i am taken for granted i am made to feel so little so cheap this is happening to us all the time and such memories are bundled up bundled up in our hearts accumulated in our hearts what are we to do with such memories it is such memories that hurt us all the time such memories 
that make us angry all the time. It is such memories that make us depressed all the time. It is such memories that make us feel miserable all the time. And that is precisely why the Lord is waiting, waiting for us here to take all those memories away when we come for the Holy Mass. Well, that's the wrong usage. We are not coming for the Holy Mass, are we? None of us can come to Jesus. Jesus said it. No one can come to me unless my father draws him. John chapter 6 verse 44. John chapter 6 verse 44. No one can come to me unless my father draws him. If we are coming to Jesus, it is because our heavenly father has drawn us to the presence of Jesus. Why is the heavenly father drawing us to the presence of Jesus? The Heavenly Father is drawing us to the presence of Jesus in order that we may offer up every such memory to Jesus. Every such memory of being devalued, devalued to offer all such painful, hurting memories to Jesus. That's why Jesus said something very beautiful before the Last Supper. Jesus said, I have desired, with a great desire, to eat this Passover meal with you. I have been waiting for you. That's what Jesus says. When we come to the Eucharistic celebration, my child, I know how hurt you are. I know how sad you are. I know how ashamed you are. I know you blame yourself for many things. Others blame you. And he feels so bitter. I have been waiting for you to tell you how precious you are. You are so precious. I offer myself. I offer myself for your salvation that you may be saved. Hallelujah. So all of us raise our hands and say hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. The one thing we need to do is to offer. At the offertory, Jesus takes a piece of bread and Jesus keeps it on the patent and Jesus lifts it up on the altar for everyone to see. But Jesus does it in the hands of the priest. Jesus takes the chalice and pours a little wine into the chalice, adds a drop of water, and lifts it up on the altar. For every one of us to see, a moment, the priest at the altar becomes the visible symbol of the invisible presence of Jesus. When Jesus raises up that piece of bread, that wine on the altar, the Lord is asking us, my children, I am offering myself to my heavenly father. What have you to offer? I am offering my broken body to my heavenly father. Is your body broken? Is your body sick? Is your body aching? Is your body ailing? All that ache and ailment of your body, give it to me. Let me raise it up to my heavenly Father. Again, Jesus is saying, I'm offering my heart, broken heart, to my heavenly Father. Remember, Jesus said, My heart is sorrowful unto death. My agony, I'm offering to my heavenly Father. What are the hurts in your heart? The sad feelings in your heart? All the hurts in your heart? Give it all to me. A moment Jesus is waiting. Again Jesus is telling us, I am offering the sin of humankind to my heavenly father. What is the sin you are conscious of? 
in your family in your heart all that sin give it all to me a moment the lord is waiting to take upon himself our sin and our pain that's what prophet isaiah had said 800 years before the coming of jesus the prophet said the savior is coming and he will take upon himself our sin and our pain and that's what jesus did on calvary that's what jesus does every time the holy mass is being offered hallelujah 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 the lord is waiting at this altar remember jesus said i have counted your afflictions psalm 56:8 i have counted your afflictions i have collected your tears in my heart again jesus said even a hair that fell from your head i have counted it all Matthew 10:30 everything every little thing even a drop of tear every sigh that escaped from our heart every bit of affliction every bit of pain in our body Jesus knows it all and Jesus is waiting that we may give it all to him the one thing we must be doing is to offer it all on this altar hallelujah hallelujah my dear sisters and brothers then comes the time of consecration jesus takes that piece of bread but jesus takes that piece of bread in the hands of the priest and jesus speaks but jesus speaks in the voice of the priest this is my body this is my blood what happens then well what god speaks comes true what god says comes true in the beginning of the world god said let there be light and the thickest of darkness was dispelled from the face of the earth jesus said be calm and the raging sea and the roaring waves fell at the feet of jesus Jesus said Lazarus come out the dead man came out alive the same Jesus at the altar in the voice of the priest the same Jesus is saying this is my body this is my blood in the power of the holy spirit the bread becomes the body of Jesus the wine becomes the blood of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah in theology there is a big word for this transubstantiation transubstantiation big word but you see to understand the substance changes it was bread it is not bread anymore it's the body of jesus it was wine it looks like wine but it's not wine anymore it looks like bread round in shape white in color light in weight but beyond the size and the shape and the color the bread is become the body of jesus the wine is become the blood of jesus transubstantiation but there's a deep spiritual meaning for this when the bread and the wine are transformed it is our lives our lives that are being changed on this altar what did you offer with that piece of bread did you offer your hot temper that hot temper jesus takes in his hands and jesus holds it close to his heart and jesus says your hot temper is mine i take it to my heart did you offer that sad feeling because you are hurt your hurt feeling your hurt feeling from your heart jesus took it into his own heart and jesus said this is my hurt feeling that urge to drink you had that urge that urge you offered that sinful urge you offered on this altar jesus takes that urge 
her sinful urge to drink to smoke or whatever and jesus keeps it in his heart and jesus says this is mine this my urge to drink everything of yours is accepted is anointed by the holy spirit jesus makes it all his own his own and that's when it all changed in the heart of jesus Thank you.